do you realize that our solar system is currently being visited by an object that has traveled for millions, perhaps billions of years from another star? It's not science fiction. Astronomers have confirmed only the third interstellar object in history, and it's called 3i divided by Atlas. While the first two visitors were strange, this one is a true behemoth. Estimates place it as large as 11 kilometers, nearly seven miles. Wide, big enough to blot out an entire city and rival the destructive power of the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. But 3i divided by Atlas isn't just big, it's weird. It's flying the wrong way down the cosmic highway. Its chemical signature doesn't match our local comets and it might be broadcasting signals. So why are so many scientists, meme pages and late night Twitter threads losing their minds about a chunk of rock and ice doing laps around the sun? Great question. Glad you asked. Sit back, maybe get some snacks because this story is going to have more twists than your favorite sci-fi franchise. Seriously, if the Marvel Cinematic Universe had a comic character, this would be it. Here's how it started. July 2025, astronomers using the Atlas telescope spot something weird zipping through the solar system. At first, the excitement level was about what you'd expect if you found a new brand of instant noodles in a supermarket. Cool, but not history making, right? But then the data started rolling in and, well, things escalated quickly. First off, 3i divided by Atlas isn't just your friendly neighborhood hunk of ice from our own solar system. Nope, this guy is interstellar. That means it's literally a tourist from another star system out here visiting us. Like someone accidentally boarding the wrong subway and ending up three cities away. Except unlike most tourists, this one isn't here for the food or the sights as far as we know anyway. And get this, it's only the third such visitor we've been able to officially spot. The OG one eye Oumuamua popped by in 2017 and confused everyone by not acting like either a comet or an asteroid. Oumuamua was a true enigma, a reddish cigar-shaped object that accelerated away from the sun without a visible gas tail. That non-gravitational acceleration is what led to the first serious alien probe speculations. Then 2i divided by Borisov showed up in 2019, which was a relief to many as it looked and behaved exactly like a classic comet, just one from far away. It was the normal one. But 3i divided by Atlas, it has style. Estimated to be somewhere between three and 11 kilometers across that we could lose an entire city in its shadow levels of big and it came streaking in on a hyperbolic trajectory, which means it's just passing through, no intention of sticking around. It's like your one friend who shows up at the party, eats all the chips, then leaves before anyone can ask whose side of the family they're from. Now, let's talk names, because Three Eye Divided by Atlases sounds like either a heavy metal band or an ancient lost artifact, right? The actual full name, if you want to geek out, is C divided by 2023A3, Atlas. You might as well throw a few more random numbers and letters in there for good measure. But here's where things get cosmic. After Oumuamua and Borisov, this is officially the third interstellar object, or 3i, on record. That alone is a headline. But as always with the universe, the details are the real show. For starters, this comet's trajectory isn't just wild. It's defying our expectations. It's moving retrograde, which in space talk means it's traveling in the opposite direction compared to the way all the nice orderly planets and most comets go around the Sunday. This retrograde motion is a crucial piece of the puzzle. Our solar system formed from a spinning disk of gas and dust. So everything, planets, asteroids, most comets, orbits in the same direction called prograde. A retrograde object is an immediate red flag that it did not form with us. It's an outsider captured by the sun's gravity only temporarily. Imagine driving against traffic on the world's biggest highway and somehow not pancaking into anything and you have the idea. Throw in a hold my space beer. And that's three I divided by Atlas for you. But here comes the real kicker. While most scientists are arguing over whether 3i divided by Atlas is more rock, more ice, 
or just here to start a cosmic food fight, a rather famous and somewhat infamous Harvard astrophysicist, Professor Avi Loeb walks onto the scene. Now, if you're not familiar with Loeb, just picture Doc Brown from Back to the Future. But instead of shouting, Great Scott, he's out here asking if every weird thing in the sky is an alien probe. Subtlety is not this man's brand. And honestly, we love him for it. Loeb's hot take, maybe three, I divided by Atlas, didn't just wander into town. Maybe it's a probe. Maybe, just maybe, the infamous wow signal. You remember that 72 second, what the heck is that radio burst from the late 70 seconds that had scientists and conspiracy theorists equally hyped? It was actually this bad boy calling to RSVP uh, before arriving. How's that for a sequel? Even better, some of the radio emissions coming off three I divided by Atlas are turning heads, making people wonder, is the universe trying to get our attention or did someone leave their alien microwave running? Okay, okay, but for real, let's hit pause. Because yes, most researchers, including teams that track literally everything with a tail, a glow, or the potential to take out our Wi-Fi, still lean natural object. But here's the thing, it's huge. It's got a coma and a tail that would put some influencer hair flips to shame, and it's chemistry, not following the rules. This is where the natural explanation starts to get stressed. A coma, the gas cloud, and tail are formed when ice turns directly to gas sublimates. As it nears the Sunday, but the type of gas matters. If it's mostly water ice, like our comets, it behaves one way. If it's frozen nitrogen or carbon monoxide, it sublimates much farther from the Sunday. The behavior of 3i divided by Atlas's tail and coma activity doesn't perfectly match our models, suggesting a composition that is, for lack of a better word, alien. If you're sensing a theme here, it's this. Nature's weird. But that doesn't stop us from asking, what if? So what have the observations actually shown so far? And why is every space nerd on the planet glued to the data? First, scientists with telescopes all around the world and even out beyond Earth's surface, shout out to ExoMars and the James Webb Space Telescope, MVPs of peering creepily into cosmic business, started focusing their instruments on 3i divided by Atlas as it got close. Why? Because it passed within 27 million kilometers of Mars. That's cosmic next door neighbor distance. If comets brought casseroles, Mars would be eating well. And what these high tech spy glasses saw was wild. A composition with high carbon dioxide and surprisingly low water, unlike our usual brand of comets that come in 70% ice, 30% stuff we sweep under the rug. Say what you want, but that's suspiciously high on the exotic chemistry chart. Some have started to call this a super comet, not a scientific term, but way cooler for thumbnails. Right now, quick show of hands. Who remembers the wow signal? Yeah, us too. For those who don't, August 1977, a short, super powerful blast of narrowband radio detected at the hydrogen line, which is basically the galactic standard for, hey, is anybody out there? Think of it as the Wi-Fi password for the universe. And one day we get a ping that stands out like a clown at a black tie dinner. The signal, labeled 6EQUJ5 on the computer printout, lasted 72 seconds and never repeated. Its frequency was so perfectly tuned to the hydrogen line that it seemed almost intentionally communicative as hydrogen is the most common element in the universe, a logical beacon for any intelligence to use. To this day, nobody has a solid answer for where that came from or what caused it. Mainstream science has tried to explain it as a rare natural phenomenon, perhaps a passing comet's hydrogen cloud, but no explanation has ever stuck. But now, with the knowledge that 3i divided by Atlas's current trajectory happens to line up with the region in the sky where that signal originated, let's just say people aren't ignoring it. At this point, the story gets chest-level brainy, because it's not just about 
did 3i divided by Atlas cause the wow signal? It's now. Is Atlas still talking, or are we just finally smart enough to listen? Instruments on Mars, Earth radio telescopes, and orbiting space probes have been catching all kinds of signals, from quirky emissions in ultraviolet and visible light to full-on radio static that's making astronomers double-check their settings, what they're looking for is non-thermal emission. A natural, hot object, like a comet, glows in a predictable way, thermal emission. But if an object is broadcasting radio waves that are not related to its temperature, that's a sign of technology. It's the difference between a campfire, natural, and a blinking Morse code signal, artificial. While nothing definitive has been announced, the sheer volume of strange, spiky, and inconsistent readings from 3i divided by Atlas is forcing a re-evaluation of what a comet can even do. And what's truly mind-blowing is that these cosmic messages don't just tell us how 3i divided by Atlas moves, they help decode what it's made out of, estimate the water and carbon dioxide it's hiding, and might just give us a front row seat to understanding how these cosmic tourists build themselves in the deep, dark, wild west of the galaxy. Are you starting to sense a pattern? Because nothing about this feels like business as usual. Think about it. Humanity, scattered across the globe and Mars, all tuning into the same station, trying to decipher if this is just another rock on holiday, or if for once it's the universe saying something meaningful through static and plasma noise, and you right now are living through it, that's cooler than finding out your neighbor's cat is secretly leading an intergalactic council, am I right? Stay tuned, because as 3i divided by Atlas makes its close pass to the sun, it's perihelion, and the signals keep dancing through our detectors, the story's only getting started. If you're not excited yet, check your cosmic pulse. The best conspiracy theorists couldn't even make this one up. And quick audience poll for the comments. If you got a mystery ping from a comet, what would your reply be? Personally, I'd keep it chill with a sup, but maybe you're more of a take me to your leader type. Drop your answers below. We'll crowdsource humanity's message to the cosmos. Ready for the next twist? Because science and the universe never lets us down for long. Grab your popcorn. We're just getting started.